About 40 days ago, I decided that I wanted to go on monk mode or a fast or something like that. And I had been trying to go on this journey several, several times, but I failed. And I wasn't really sure why I kept failing at it. So th about three months ago, or actually six months ago, I was contemplating whether I should join the military or not. And I was also trying to go into the trades. I tried different jobs. I was actually in a period of my life where I was trying to figure things out. So I wanted to go into the military. And the reason that I wanted to go into the military is because I really wanted that mental resiliency and discipline that it brings. So it really wasn't about the money. And on top of that, I was really lost in life and I just I just didn't really respect myself that much. I I didn't like my, my, my self image was really low. I didn't see myself so highly. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I go into the military and that'll solve my depression. That'll make me feel happy now. That'll give me some self-worth that will help me move on or get over my breakup that I was going through because a year before that I was going through a breakup. And I will say, I will say that the anticipation and me trying to figure out and focusing on, should I go into the, to the, to the army? Should I do it or not? That actually gave me a little bit of relief from the breakup because I wasn't thinking about it. So I actually felt myself moving on from the breakup even more. And I started to feel better. But this is the only thing. Because everyone will tell you, yeah, you should go into the military or you should go do this. You should go do that. But I didn't really ask myself, why? Why do I really want to go into the military? What do I really want out of life? Because I was actually considering going into the trades also because I was like, okay, well, the trades can make me a whole lot of money. And my life will be easier if I make a lot of money, right? But then I also asked myself, do I really want to do that? Or is there something else that I want to do? That's really the most important thing here. Because the fact that I said, no, I'm not going to go into the military. A lot of people going to look at me and say, man, you, man, man, you could have been making that money. You could have went into the trades and made that money. You're not disciplined. You, you, you're not hardworking and stuff like that. But so long story short, well, back to the story. Basically, I ended up asking myself, why do I want to do this? Okay, I want mental resiliency. I want to become more disciplined. But I also want to do things my way. So those were the, were the pros, right? That I'll be game, I'll get to become a stronger, more tough, attractive version of myself. And I was... I would love that. And then I was thinking about the cons. Okay. So I go into the National Guard or the Army and I get to come back home. And then I basically start a business. Since I'm getting that check every week, uh, I mean, every month, you know what I'm saying? And most of my bills are taken care of. And I don't really have much to worry about. So I could put my full focus into the business and work on that but i was thinking because since i'm signing a contract and i'm saying i <laughs> i will stay here and do this for x amount of time or else i go to jail so i was thinking okay so what if i decide that i don't want to do this anymore what if i become a millionaire what if my youtube channel blows up what if my business takes off and i no longer need this what if i'm making $30,000 a month. And then I don't know. I no longer need the military. I can't get out. I'm stuck unless I buy my way out of the military, which I don't even know if that's a thing, but I'm pretty sure it is. But so long story short, I kind of got rushed into 
joining the military in a way because you know how recruiters are they they can be really pushy sometimes so i had this recruiter he 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 said okay you need to come down here tonight to, to today and go to meps stuff like that i i literally went to meps i, I actually went to meps and i i took the asvab test and i did pretty good on it and i would have been able to get the job that i wanted and he said hey you need to come down here and take your physical right now or something like that and i was like so i i said hey man i i i told you i i couldn't do it today because i'm i'm working or something like that you know and you know if i really wanted to join the military i would have i would have went down there and did it that, that same day but i knew exactly what i was doing i wasn't really sure if i still wanted to join or not i was kind of maybe i should maybe i shouldn't and i was you know uh so he ended up taking me off of there and just dropping me. He said, okay, I'm done. He, he, he said, I'm done. And I was like, whoa, really, bro? You really just going to drop me like that? But all right. So, and I actually, that happening, to me, that's actually a blessing in disguise. Because what if that happened? Because me joining the, joining the military wasn't in God's plans. That wasn't exactly what would have benefited me the most in life. So, I'm actually grateful that he did that. I'm actually grateful that he was so pushy and didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually grateful that that happened because, you know, and, you know, no, no disrespect to him, by the way. He's, he was a really, he's a cool guy, really cool. But the fact that that happened and showed me that the military was not exactly what I wanted, wanted to do. And you know, and people could say, yeah, well, maybe you would have made a lot of money in the military. Maybe you would have did, did really good or something like that. Okay, fair enough. I could have did it if I wanted it. If that's what I if that's what I wanted. But it's actually true that maybe, just maybe, I wanted something else. Maybe I want something else out of life instead of, you know, just doing something because I, I want to make money. And of course, it's, it's stable and it's you know, it teaches you discipline. You can start a family a lot easier with that, kind of. But I actually, even with the trades, because I was thinking about going into the trades too. I was going to do HVAC, like heating and air conditioning and stuff like that, which wasn't really a bad idea. It's probably something I would have enjoyed doing. But I had to ask myself, is this really what I want to do with my life? Is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? And most people are going to say, oh, well, you're just going to do this right now until you till you can do get something else better or or, or you're going to go here and and make a whole lot of money so you can do something else or whatever. That's how a lot of people are thinking. But to me, I knew that was the wrong move to take for me to just do something because I want to get paid. I want to get a check. That was the wrong move to make knowing I didn't really want to do that thing. If I didn't really care about being a technician, I didn't really care about being a plumber, why would I go do that? If I don't really care about being in the military, why would I do that? It doesn't make much sense to do something that you don't really care about doing or you don't want to do just because you want to get money, you want to provide. And I get you want to provide, but we got to do things the right way. So what I really wanted to do because I was setting all this up so I could do something else. So I could use that as leverage and do something else. So I wanted to either, I wanted to do YouTube and I also wanted to, you know, do fitness and game development. And now that's currently what I'm working on, game development right now. So, and that's what I actually want to do. What I was planning on doing was going into the military and, you know, doing the National Guard so I could start game development maybe later in my life. And then I thought about this. When you want to do something, because most time, you know, most people, they, they want to do something. And, they, and you don't even know if that's actually what you want to do because you haven't actually tried it yet. You're just saying, oh, well, maybe I'll, you know what I'm saying, maybe I'll do this at when it's more convenient, you know, when, I, when, it's, when it feels right. And we do that all the time, matter of fact. We do that with a lot of stuff. Because there's there's a lot of YouTube videos that I've, I've been wanting to record, stuff that I've been wanting to, to share with you, stuff that I've been wanting to say. But I'm like, hmm, well, 
Maybe I'll wait till I get a thousand, a thousand subscribers. Maybe I'll wait, 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 you know, wait until, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll just wait for Christmas in order to do that. And you waiting on doing stuff, even with the, even with the game development. I actually delayed working on game development, working on my game for so long because I was saying, well, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to start getting paid off YouTube first. I'm going to, you know, get everything in line with that. And then I'll start to start the business. And we're also doing this with our lives, too. We're we're we're, we're, we're literally saying, OK, well, I'm going to make six figures and then I'll start dating. I'm going to make six figures and then I'll live life. I'm going to get this big, fancy house and a nice car and a, and a mortgage and a house. And then I'll be happy. And it's crazy because we don't even all like we, we sometimes we don't really realize that we are living in this way and how toxic it is, how bad that is. That is awful. So I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea with this video. All those things that I just mentioned, you know, the trades, military, those are pretty good ways to make a living in life and be and be successful if that is what you want to do. But if you are doing anything, whether like wh whatever it is and you don't want to do it, then do you shouldn't be doing it. So if you're going to the gym and you're trying to be a bodybuilder just to impress everyone and, you know, get on Instagram and look and look nice and have muscles and everything, you know, it, it, it it's it's kind of pointless at that point. You know, it's it, no pun intended. It's pointless. It doesn't really make much sense because you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for other people. So that, that was actually the case with me. I was going to the gym just, you know, to improve, to impress my, my girl, you know what I'm saying? Or to impress everyone because I was so skinny or something like that. Now I go to the gym for me. I love exercising and that's why I do it. So when you're doing things that you don't want to do, you're not going to be happy in life. You're just not going to be happy. Now, of course, in order to do, to do what you want to do, there's a lot of discipline and hard work required. Yes. But a lot of the times, well, first of all, when, when we use the word discipline, right? We think that discipline means simply getting up and doing something hard. And that's not even, that's not the case. Discipline is doing anything that you're not motivated to do, but you know it's going to get you where you want to be. So there are some things in life that you don't, you know, you don't want. And people will say that you're not being disciplined enough. Okay. You know, but when you don't want something out of life and you're doing something that you hate and you, you know, you just dislike because a lot of the times we we live by this standard that says, yeah, you have to work at McDonald's or you have to do said thing that you don't want to do because you're forced to do it. And I believe that this is completely a mindset thing. It's really I think everything in life is all about your mindset. Because if you believe that you're not worth enough to be able, like, you, if you feel like you don't deserve something better, then you're not going to get something better. So I guess my point that I'm trying to make here is that all this time I've been waiting. I, I, I feel like I've wasted. Well, I haven't. Technically, you don't really waste time. You just learn things as you live life. But. If I had to give anyone who's 22, 21, a message, if I had to tell my younger self anything, I would say that you need to go and do what you want. Do what you truly, truly, truly want to do. If you have an idea of something that could make it big, you know what I'm saying? You have a goal you want to pursue. If you have anything you want to do, do that thing. Don't be doing these things that everybody says that, yeah, you should do this. You should do that. And, and you know that you don't want to do it. You're just wasting your time when you're doing things you don't want to do. Now, 
that ain't to say that you ain't going to ever have to do things in life that you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe you got to get up super early and you don't really want to do it, but you have to do it. But what it, what's, what it really is about is sacrifice. You sacrifice. And, you know, it's not as simple as I... It, it depends on the person is what I'm saying. So it's going to vary from person to person. If there is something you have to do in order to get to a certain outcome, then yeah, sure. Sacrifice. But if you're doing something and you know that there is no return on investment, then what's the point of doing it? Because that's what I was doing a lot in my life. I was doing things that I knew were going to have no return on investment. So I stopped doing them. And I started doing things that I know will have return on investment. Like the stuff I'm doing now. I'm getting ready to start boxing and stuff. And, you know, I meditate, I journal. I'm just working on myself. I'm working on my confidence. See, I'm not really so focused on being perfect or making money or none of that stuff, really. I'm not even focused on a relationship right now. I'm really just focused on building myself up as a person, building up my confidence, my mental resiliency, my discipline, you know, my stuff like that, stuff that, and, you know, just working on basic social skills. And these types of things, when you focus on these things, instead of trying to make money or trying to chase an external goal or like an external thing, when you, when you focus on the internal, you attract the external. It, like I'm building skills that is going to benefit me for when I start my business, when my business takes off. So you have to, you have to just, you have to focus on the internal first. The internal is going to always come first because a, a, a lot of people, we, 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 we hustle backwards. We try to get rich first. We try to get money and we try to impress other people and then we're like okay well then then i'll be happy then i'll be able to love myself then i'll be worthy of self-love and that's kind of silly when you think about it because why are you basing your self-worth off of how much money you have how successful you are in the external world you should love yourself regardless you know what i'm saying you should love yourself regardless of where you are in life that and a lot of people just do it wrong. So I'm focusing on me, on what's on the inside, and then after what's on the inside is solid, then I'm gonna focus on trying to make more money. You know, trying to make more friends. Cause what 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 good is it going to do you to have a lot of money, to have a lot of Let's just say everything everybody wants in life, the American dream, that, you know, you want a, 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 a big house and a white picket fence and stuff like that. And you want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to have a, a beautiful, nice family and you want to be making $30,000 a month. You know, you want to have everything you want in life. You want to be able to be able to survive. What good does it do you if you can't even, if you can't survive on the inside, if you can't live with yourself, if you're not happy with who you are, what good does it do you to be rich? So moral of the story is that you chase what you, like, you, what, what you need to be worried about is your own personal growth. First, like, for, first and foremost. But that's my story. So you found this story relatable. You found it helpful. You know, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name, Raheem the Goat. Never give up.
Remember the subs waiting for you. Peace.